Wow. I was asked to prepare a speech just in case. Um, uh, this is indeed a humbling and life divining honor. Thank you very much for your generous introduction, uh, Peter. Minister Dawson, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, I'll do my best to represent the past 41 years of my life in Perth in this short speech. I was told allowed only one minute. <laughs> Before I continue, I too acknowledge the custodians of this land, Wajuk, Nunga people. I also wish to congratulate the finalists, the winners from all categories here tonight. It's a privilege for me to be counted among you. It's a momentous time such as this that inspire us to reflect on our life's journey. My story in Western Australia began on a cold night, July 31st, 1981. More than four decades ago, my beautiful wife, Almas, and I traveled from our home state, Kerala in Southern India to Perth, where I embarked on my PhD at the University of Western Australia. Thank you, UWA, for the scholarship. My PhD was the first in Australia on chickpea, and now Australia has a major pulse exporting industry, how we have grown. Over the dec decades, I have been fortunate to work, travel across this wonderful state of ours. There is no doubt that Perth has been the best place in the world for my wife and I to choose to raise our two children, Nida, she's here today, and Navid is uh, living in Vancouver, Canada. And now watch our baby granddaughter, I call her princess, grow up. She's just uh, less than two years. She's being babysitting uh, by our um, son-in-law, Gary. I think he's watching from his home. Every morning I jump right out of bed because I love to work so much coming to work. If I were to get another life, I know for certain that I would still choose the same career and at UWA. At UWA, I'm fortunate to be surrounded by very talented, clever, and passionate people. A small group, punching beyond their weight, have contributed to UWA being ranked number one in Australia and 15th in the world for agriculture science. I think this is something very important. I'm thankful to my expansive network of colleagues, current and past PhD students, and the research collaborators at UWA and universities and research institutions across Western Australia, Australia, and internationally, especially in China. I know my Chinese colleagues are watching, and also from India online. So, hi, my niha and namaste. And I'm also very, very um, happy to say that after my PhD, I joined then Department of Agriculture, now called DEPERD, where I worked very hard with a bunch of colleagues, and that organization has been immensely helped to connect me with the farmers. I'm immensely proud of what we have achieved together. I, was, I also wish to acknowledge uh, the UWA Vice Chancellor, Professor Amit Chakma, and Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research, Professor Anna Novak, both are here tonight, and extend my gratitude to Anna for her unconditional endorsement of my nomination. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> if I were to list everyone whom I am thankful for, then we would be all here until early morning hours. However, I would like to name just a few. I've had numerous mentors, allies, friends in my career, including former Vice Chancellor, Professor Alan Robson. I think he will be very happy to hear this. <laughs> and the late Professor Ralph Sedgley, who was my PhD supervisor. There is another person in this room who I especially want to thank. That's Professor Peter Davies from Murdoch University. I would not have thought to nominate for this award. A couple of years ago, Peter came and said, oh, you should nominate. I said, no way, mate. <laughs> However, Peter insisted. And I'm so happy 
he did. I am indebted to the agriculture industry, research community for their support, and research funding over the decades. That includes Australian Centre for International Agriculture Research, Grain Research and Development Corporation, Australian Research Council, Council of Grain Growers Organisation over the decades. It's also crucial that I acknowledge my close working relationship with the innovative Western Australian farmers and the farmer groups, Grower Group Alliance, who I have learned so much from them. This award is especially important for me because it helps shine light on the importance of agriculture and food industry for the future of human humanity. More than 780 million people in the world go hungry every day. Sadly, that number is rising. The average Australian farmer produces enough food to feed 150 people at home and about 450 people overseas. Not a bad effort. The United Nations predicts that by 2050, agricultural production must be increased at least by 50% to feed the demand. Key to our victory is greater funding and support for innovative, impactful agricultural research and development, and that is conducted in collaboration, both nationally and internationally, along with the industry. So I'm not getting the page now, almost finishing. Once again, thank you, Premier, Science Minister Dawson, Western Australian Government, Chief Scientist Professor Peter Klingen, Selection Panel, I don't know all of them, but there are a few here at the moment, and all who have contributed this wonderful, memorable evening. I am humbled and touched by this honour, and I dedicate it to my beloved family here, other parts of the world, and in India, especially to my parents. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.